What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new reaction video for you guys today. And in this one, we're going to be reacting to Darman. Dad breaks all promises to daughter. He instantly regrets it. I don't know what it's like to be a father, but I'm pretty sure um, you can't break your promises, especially to your princess, your little, your little princess girl, man. That's just not something that is okay. So we finna find out what happens in this episode. The original video will always be in the description down below. While you guys are down there, if you can follow me on my TikTok, I would greatly appreciate it. That is where I'm posting my Call of Duty gameplay videos over there. So the support will be greatly, greatly appreciated, man. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on. That way you do not miss any of the uploads. And without further ado, man, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dive right into this. Let's get it. Everybody bring it in. Inspired by the film. To Jackson, the most successful guy I've ever met, and by far the most talented. I've always looked up to you, buddy. Okay. Happy birthday. Good friends, okay. Birthday toast, happy birthday. I know that shot had to hurt, because when I take a shot, oh my God. Did you want to close out? No, I'm going to do another one. Mm. Okay. You finna get lit. Okay, that's what we do. We get lit. No, they actually all said that you were going to get it. Damn. You're not driving, are you? Oh, no. No, I'm not. I wonder why she asked that. Well, he pulled out his keys, duh. But damn, all those are your friends and they're making you cover the birthday shots? That's crazy. That's insane, actually. Insane. Please don't rob my guy, please. He's had a long night. Excuse me. Uh, okay, not me stereotyping my own type. Let me chill. Let me chill. <laughs> Let me chill, guys. Jackson, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jackson, the slugger. O'Connor? Oh, Wait, he used to be a baseball player? <laughs> I'm a big fan, man. Oh, man. Oh, well, I mean, I'm a Dodgers guy. But, you know, me and my boys, you know, we would watch the Angels just to watch you. <laughs> you the man. That's right. Um, I mean, you know, it's sad that you retired. But especially because it was so soon. Yeah. Hey, you have a good night, man. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, my my name is Scott. I'm a I'm the assistant coach for the Boyle Heights Bombers, <laughs> and um, you know we could really use a head coach. <laughs> Hey, man, when I quit baseball, I never looked back. Yeah, I get that. He walked away from that chapter of his life. Um, okay. Well, you know, it's it, a, it's it'd be like that sometimes, though. Like, like, I mean, I mean, I know it's hard to imagine walking away from a professional sport and making those millions. But just because you have all that money in the world doesn't mean that you don't have problems, too, guys. Like, and gig. And he definitely going through. He probably I, feels uh, lonely. I'll just uh, used I'll just all kinds here. of shit. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you never know, right? <laughs> it's just, all right, take care. Hey, bro, walk away. <laughs> he, I feel like he might, he might decide to coach, right? Because he might feel useful to the kids. The kids might show him appreciation. You know what I mean? He drinking his life away. Damn. I'm gonna mute the part where it's music, guys, just because I don't know, like, you know what I mean? I don't know how it's gonna, uh, you know, if it's gonna copyright me or whatever the case may be. But as, as you guys can see, he's basically having a flashback of his career as an Angels baseball player. Which, again, no matter how much money you got, bro, or, you know, how, you know, secure you are or anything, there's still problems for everybody. Like, he looked like he lived a happy life. He had a family. Like, his wife bad. Like, he had a child. Like, what? And he was an all-star on the baseball team? Like, come on, man. Life. But, hey, again, everybody has their own problems. Sweet, what are you doing? 
I'm, I'm at this house party and everyone is, is drinking and, and Colton keeps trying to pressure me too, but I, I really don't want to. Um, uh oh. Can, can you come pick me up? Yeah, let me. I'm gonna be right there. Give me one second. Are you drunk? What? No, I'm totally fine. Dad, I, I can tell by how you look. Why can I never rely on you when I need you? Just give me the address and I'll be right there. No, it. Shoot, that's why me personally, I just smoke, yo. You know, you gotta stay off of the, you know, I stay off of the liquor, man. Can't have that shit all the time. I don't see how people do it. And he look crazy. Look, Sky. I don't want to hear it. He probably smell like liquor, everything. You know, if your boyfriend is pressuring you to drink, I don't think you should be seeing him anymore. Oh yeah? Like you're some role model I should be taking advice from? Mmm. Me personally? Me personally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me chill. Let me chill. I was going to say something. <laughs> Let me chill, y'all. Let me chill. We're here for the Darman lessons, okay? Okay. But look, me personally, I wouldn't have took the disrespect, okay? Did you ever Yeah, get some water in your I system, my you? guy. Maybe if you got a job, you'd be more responsible. You can't live off your savings forever, you know? You can if you got 100 million. <laughs> Can I still count on you to take me to my winter formal tonight? Yeah, sweetheart. 100%, of course. Are you sure? I need to leave by 6. That's perfect. You can count on me. <coughs> you say that like you don't break promises all the time. All right, look. I'm trying not to hold my tongue. Can you can you, can you feel can you can you feel good about something? <laughs> no coffee, tough. I don't drink coffee either. I drink water, juice, orange juice, milk. Those are my favorite drinks. And Sprite. Boyle Heights Bombers. Yeah, find yourself some purpose, man. Sometimes that's all you need. Yo, think you could uh, give me this jack if I shoot you a 20? What? No. Hey, man, if you're not 21, you shouldn't be drinking. Ruin your life, man. Okay, whatever, Grams. It looked like he was already drinking out of it, though, right? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Uh, here, let me help you with that. Charlie! What did I tell you about hugging customers, huh? Sorry about that. No, it's no problem. Does he do that often? Unfortunately, yes. I must have told him a thousand times to stop, but sorry again. I feel like he might have a condition or something. Nice to see you, Quinn. Hey, maybe you shouldn't be hugging people, you know? You don't want to get fired for not listening to your boss. People sometimes need a hug. Is it too early to be buying alcohol? Uh, yeah, well, this is more like my medicine. My mom used to tell me. Laughter is yeah, he definitely medicine. got a condition. I forget what it's called. I like that. But, you know, those kind of people are just you nice, know, friendly people. Really you know what I mean? Charlie. You can never treat, no, mistreat those kind of people, man. Sure you are. Why would you think otherwise? I'll show you. If I was smart, I would be a party of the month. But no, I never chose it. Charlie. How smart or good you are at something isn't determined at how many awards you won. Look, I've won a lot of awards and didn't change anything in my life. And even with all the awards that I've won, you seem way happier than me. Trophies and what? Ah, uh, baseball. I used to play for the Angels. 
No way! Can you teach me how to play? How about today, as I get off work? <sighs> ah, well, I don't know. I, I, ever since I quit, I haven't picked up a bat in like eight years. Damn, That's he's been retired right for that long? Sheesh! What if this mob? No, I'm back. Please, I will well learn. <laughs> All right, so I throw, you swing. Did you ever hold a bat before? No. Okay. Set your feet. Eye on the prize. Yeah. Follow through. Be careful swinging around that uh the hatch or the, the that whip. You might break the glass, my boy. All right. I'm gonna throw it right down the pipe, okay? I ain't gonna lie, them playing baseball right it's here right. is insane. Like, you see all the cars around him, y'all not even on a baseball field? He ain't swinging with no effort. So your dad never taught you how to play baseball, huh? Um, uh, how long you been working at the grocery store? Three years, two months, and 17 days ago. That's a very specific number. <laughs> and all this time, you've never been employee of the month. What did Grip play in baseball? Uh, it's, I don't really like to talk about. It, it was OK if we can uh, hold the bat like this. Oh my gosh, you're left-handed. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I should have asked, all right? All right, let's see what you got here. When they never taught me to play baseball, because I never met him, he, he left before I was born. Dang. I'm so sorry, bud. I, uh, That's cold hearted. So, you know, live with your mom? She's the one that always tells you to smile, right? She died three years, two months, and 70 days ago. <laughs> Damn. I never, I never lost a parent, but I did uh, lose someone that I love very much. You see? Eight years ago, I had it all. The career, the success, my family. I was happier than ever, and then everything suddenly changed. The car came out of nowhere and hit the side of my car where my wife sat. Mm -mm. I couldn't even imagine. Okay, now, now I see why he feels well, like the, the way he does. And I, we got off with a few scratches, but my wife, she... She didn't make it. Damn. Who cut onions in here, man? <laughs> so cut onions. My wife died that day. It's all my fault. Man, and like when it comes to losing somebody, bro, like he said eight years. Like I can relate to this, man. Like losing my little brother to COVID tattoo right here on my hand. That's the tattoo on my hand. It's my little brother. Um, and I got his picture actually in the back on the on the shelf back there. Um, but like losing, like losing a loved one like that, like it does change your outlook on life and it can really like it can really tear a person down depending on what it is you lost. It doesn't matter if it's your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your wife, your husband, your uncle, your child. Like, man, you can never tell anybody how quickly they should be able to grieve. Like, that shit is hard, bro. Trust me. It's been three years. This year was three years since I lost my little brother. Um, for two years after that happened, I was pretty much isolated. Like, this this year, was 2023, was my first year being around people and stuff again, man. Like, that shit is tough to deal with. Trust me. I wish a million times that it was me instead. Unfortunate. So when you asked why I quit baseball, that's that's why. I just fell into a deep, dark depression, man. Yep. Just trying to stay focused and take care of my daughter. Same. And to be quite honest, I can't even do that right half the time. You can't turn it past Jackson. But you can't change the future. <laughs> my daughter tells me stuff like that all the time. Oh, shoot, my daughter. Oh, no. 
My phone was on silent. Oh, I, 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 I gotta go. I gotta go pick her up, Charlie, all right? Just keep practicing, man. I'm seeing some really good stuff. You're good, man. Look, are you gonna be okay getting home? All right. <coughs> Scott! Scott! Hey, I'm so sorry, hon. I'm so, so sorry. Look, I, but I'm here now, so let me take you. I knew I shouldn't have listened to your promises. Luckily, my boyfriend came to get me. No, I really wanted to be here. I just lost track of time. Please let me just take you. You want to know something? You are the worst dad in the world. Yeah. You? You're Colton? What up, Gramps? Sky, honey. You can't date this guy. Sky, please, honey, I'm telling you, you cannot go to the dance with him. You can't just try and be a father when it's convenient for you. Sky, don't go. Me personally, my daughter ain't walking away from me like that. Oh, you bring your little please. ass over here. <laughs> okay. Please. Okay. I don't have kids, but look, <laughs> you know, my parents, they raised me old school. Not saying I'm going to be as old school as them, but just in that situation right there, You're especially back. after I seen that kid buying, that, trying to give him to buy alcohol, I'm not letting my daughter be around that either. I can understand that. Well, I, I would have reacted her, differently, yeah. but that's just me. Would you uh, grab my paycheck for me, please? I got you. Come right up. I don't understand. If you know you're going to be getting drunk, why don't you just call an Uber? Well, as you can see, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. So, if you're not thinking about the future, what are you thinking about? I got that check for I've you, Dr. There. Monique. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Congrats. You take care. Well, you don't work here no more? Nope. I'm moving on with my life. I wish I could do the same. Is that your wife and daughter? Rebecca. She died uh, in a car accident about eight years ago. I was driving. That's Sky. It's my daughter. And she hates me. I'm sure she doesn't hate me. Even if that's the relationship that you have right now with Sky, doesn't mean it's always going to be that way. I mean, there are lots of people that turn their lives around. Yes, oh, second like chances are a real thing, man. You gotta dig yourself up in dark holes, bro. Keep love. fighting. When well, yeah, life be life, player. literally. I mean, my face was in all the magazines and newspapers. I made millions of dollars a year. I was so happy. Got to have my dream life. My beautiful wife and my girl. And boom. It's all gone in an instant. Not all gone. You still have your daughter. You just don't understand. My dream life is over. You know, when I was uh, We got hit with a curveball in life for sure. I, uh, I dreamed about being a doctor. That's all I ever dreamed about. And I had a a 4.0 in high school, and I signed up for all the advanced science classes. I even, at the end of it, had a full ride to a great college, UCLA. And then, during my senior year, I got pregnant. Unexpected life happened. I got, I got pregnant. Yeah, I know it. I know it. My baby's I know father, it. he didn't stick around. My parents were so upset with me that they kicked me out. I had to raise my son all by myself. 
as a teenager. But do you know what? I never gave up on my dreams. Sorry, and I don't mean to be rude, but you're a bartender, you're not a doctor. Your daughter is. When my son was old enough to I mean, your son is. Himself, I started taking online college classes. And during the day while he was at school, I would study. And then at night, I would work. That's why I'm a bartender. When he finally turned 18 a few years ago, I decided to go to med school. As of yesterday, I am officially a doctor. Oh, and that's why she's quitting her bartending job. Damn. So you see, just because life didn't work out that's the crazy, way you bro. wanted it to, it, it doesn't mean that your future... Hey, things happen differently at a different time for everybody at a different pace, man. Just stay in your lane and do you. Can be everything you could ever imagine. Don't compare yourself to other Even people's situations, but also you never know what anybody is going through. Balls at you. Keep going. You take care. Go coach that team, bro. No cap. Hey, Sky. He did what? Text me the address. No, right now. Yeah. I gotta go. Sky. Sky, you coming out soon? <laughs> if I was a dad, he can hit his ass. Uh, I think I'm gonna head home. Wait, wait. You can't leave. <laughs> I'm your ride. So why don't we just, uh, Hang out and chill for a bit, babe. Colton, I, I told you I'm not comfortable. And your breath smells like alcohol. Come on. Colton, stop. I, I said stop! Scott, are you okay? Did he hurt you? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Don't you ever come near my daughter again, you hear me? Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Pops look like Wolverine coming up in that bit. <laughs> he looked like the claws was finna come out, nigga. Stop playing with me. Don't ever come near my daughter. You hear me? Rescue me. The fuck? Honey. I would have been on the same time. I just want to let you know that a lot of things are going to change. I'm going to quit drinking. I'm going to turn my life around. And I know that you haven't always been able to count on me in the past. I swear to you. You can always count on me going forward. Thanks, Dad. It, it means a lot. So, so what changed? Well, let's just say I finally realized what you've always been trying to tell me. You can't change the past. But you can change the you future. Change the future. Ah, w episode got me in the feels, man. Damn, got me in the feels. That right there was an amazing Darman episode. I really, really enjoyed that one, guys. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Ah, man. Whoo. Stop cutting onions when I'm watching these videos, please. <laughs> but no, the original video will always be in the description down below. And while you guys are down there, if you can follow me on my TikTok, that is where I will be posting my Call of Duty gameplays and videos. I appreciate you guys for continued support, man. And that does it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. We are out. Peace.